Hey kids, Mr. Snyder here. Um, happy second day of school. Uh, some of you might be seeing this for the first time, so that's okay. Um, but I just wanted to do a little video and tell you guys about some activities I'm going to be getting you guys to do while we're at home. Uh, some exercises and things like that. And do it right here in the gym so that way you guys feel like you're a part of it and feel like you're here and uh, aren't missing out on anything. So, just to give you a little heads up. So I have two activities today. I have uh, a ball. I'm going to be using and I have a box of tissues uh, that it's just going to be used as a box but if you don't have that that's okay uh, you can use your imagination uh, you don't need equipment at all so the first thing I'm going to do um, I'm going to do what's called a shuttle run and a shuttle run is when you run from one point to another point um, a few feet away a few yards away um, whatever the distance may be that you have you pick up a box and you bring it back to the other side drop that box run down get another box so you have two boxes you're using um, and you want to make sure that you're, you're stopping grabbing that box running back putting it down and repeating the process for however many times the shuttle runs are so if I tell you to do five shuttle runs you'll run down pick up a box bring it back drop it off run down drop off another box that's two um, and you're gonna repeat that for as many times as you need to so Let's, uh, let's, let's get set up and I'll show you what I'm going to be doing. All right, so now that I've got everything set up, so I'm, I'm going to show you here. Um, let's see, how is this easiest? So there's a box there on the ground and then down there there's another box. So I'm going to leave you guys set up here so you can see. And I'm going to run from here down and grab that box, bring it back. When I set it down, I'm going to pick up the box that's closest to me right now. And I'm going to do that five times. Ready? Set. Okay. All right, that's my five shuttle runs. So again, two pieces of uh, equipment, it could be anything. I use two, two tissue boxes here. I drop one off, pick one up, repeat the process. Again, there's your shuttle run. So you guys could use anything you have access to at home. Good luck. All right, so now that we're done our shuttle runs, we're gonna do uh, some activities to keep up with our leg muscles. So uh, running and jumping and all that. So, really good to get your leg muscles trained and uh, stay in shape. So let's uh, fix the camera here. Let's do some jumping jacks. So jumping jacks, again, just a reminder, your feet are together and your hands by your side when you start, they come apart and your hands go up for your second movement and back. So then you repeat and repeat and repeat for however many times I tell you. So today we're gonna do 30 jumping jacks. Ready, begin. All right, there's 30. Excellent job. Keep up the great work. Let's move on. Go, guys. I'm going to teach you a new one. I'm going to back up a little bit. I hope you can still hear me. Uh, I'm going to teach you guys a lunge. So when you're lunging, you're going to be walking forward at the same time as doing a squat. So it's going to look like this. I'm going to take one step forward. I'm going to bend my knee. I'm going to drop my other knee down. Keep my back as straight as I can. And I'm going to be walking. So when I go, I'm going to alternate. Go to my next one. Squat down keep my back straight and keep on moving. Now when you're squatting, you're working on two things. You're working on your leg muscles and your core muscles. We're going to keep our legs and our core engaged at all times. One, it's going to help with our balance. Two, it's going to work on all of our muscle groups. So as you notice, keeping my core tight to keep myself balanced while I'm, off, while I'm in line with my feet. Because my feet are in line like this. All right. Now, I'm also keeping my back straight, so I'm keeping my back engaged. You're really gonna feel it in your, uh, in your thighs, and that, that's where you should feel it the most. And uh, we're gonna do 
some lunges across the room and back. So again, do it as much space as you have possible. So we're gonna do some lunges away from you and then back towards you. And 10, and 10 lunges to get me back to you guys. So hopefully everybody can do that. If you can't do 10 because you don't have the space, do as many as you can going one way, as many as you can coming back the other way. Again, it's working on our core muscles and it's working on our leg muscles. You're gonna feel it in your thighs. All right, so now that we're done that, I'm gonna take you guys onto the floor here. So bear with me for a second. All right, so we're gonna move down onto the floor. And what I wanna do is I want to have us do some seated twists. Okay, so a seated twist, or a side to side twist, however I call it on your uh, slide. I'm going to keep my feet on the ground, or you can pick them up, this makes it more difficult. Um, and I'm going to pretend that I'm holding a ball. In my case, I'm actually going to hold a ball. Okay, now that I'm back, I have my ball. Now, this ball doesn't have any weight to it, but I can use weight uh, to engage my core a little differently or make it more difficult or easier, depending on how much weight you have. So, keeping my feet on the ground, I'm gonna twist my body, set the ball down, pick it back up, twist the other way, set it down. If I wanna make it difficult, I pick my feet up, want to make it a little easier and you want to still pick your feet up, pick your feet up, hold on to the ball, just twist side to side. You don't have to set it on the ground each time. All right, so those are our seated. All right guys, so those are called our seated twist or our side to side twist, um, also known as a Russian twist. Um, so if you look it up on a on an actual uh, exercise, it's going to be called a Russian twist, and they're going to be holding a weight or um, some like a plated weight or a ball that's got weight to it, and they're going to be twisting from side to side. So let's give those a try, and um, we'll move on to the next thing. Good luck. All right, now that we've given those a try, let's get back on the ground, and uh, we're going to go into our our push-up position. Um, so let's do uh, ten push-ups each. So. Back is gonna stay as flat as possible. Our, our hands can be either shoulder width apart, a little closer together, or a little further apart, whatever is more comfortable for you. All right, there's 10 push-ups. That's our 10 push-ups. Now at this point, done a few exercises, Let's make sure we're taking a water break. Got to stay hydrated during this because if your muscles aren't hydrated, they're not going to work as well as they should. They're going to start cramping up or uh, starting to feel tired or fatigued. Um, but if we have our muscles getting plenty of hydration or water and we're breathing and um, slowly breathing, slowly letting out our air. Um, it's going to keep our muscles oxygenated and healthy. So let's go on to the next one. All right, so for this next activity, we're going to stay on the ground. Um, but for this one, I have a stopwatch. If you don't have a stopwatch, just uh, listen to some music or uh, watch TV and count in your head. So we're going to do the plank. The plank position is very similar to a push-up. You're going to hold yourself up flat back, uh, don't arch your back or let your back sag, um, and you're going to hold that position. Now, we can do it two ways. We can do it one way, we're holding a push-up position like this, back is flat, and we're going to hold it out for however many seconds, 30, 45 seconds, whatever um, is written down for you guys. 
and also whatever you're most comfortable with. Now, if you can't do that, you want something a little bit more difficult, do it on your forearms. This is gonna be a little harder. Uh, it's gonna bring down our center of gravity and you're gonna feel it more in your core. So, so with that being said, I'm gonna lay down in my plank position. I'm gonna do it with my forearms, uh, but again, you can do it in a push-up position or on your forearm. And I'm gonna start my timer, and we're gonna hold it for 30 seconds. Ready, begin. Timer started, holding it, my feet are together, I'm engaging that core, I wanna keep my back as flat as possible, try not to rotate from side to side, try not to let my back sag or make a mountain, and you're just gonna hold it. Make sure you're breathing. That's 30 seconds, so great job. We're gonna stay on the ground, and we're gonna go right into our next movement. So, next movement is gonna be crunches or sit-ups. You sit up, you're gonna come all the way up like this. A crunch, you're gonna be laying back on the ground, hands flat on the ground, feet together, knees bent. You're gonna come up, basically bringing your shoulder blades off of the ground, engaging your core. All right, now, sit up. You're gonna try, that's the typical of nobody's holding your feet. You're gonna try to come all the way up. That's the setup. So, I'm gonna do, do 15 crunches. Hands flat, feet are bent, feet are flat on the ground, knees are bent. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good job. All right, so that's gonna do it for all of our floor activities. We have one more left to teach you, and then we're gonna call it a day. All right, guys, so our last exercise for today, we're gonna do it standing mountain climber. So a standing mountain climber is basically going to make it seem like you're climbing a ladder. All right, so I'm gonna adjust this down so you can see my legs and my hands. As I bring up my right leg, my right hand's gonna go in the air. As I bring it down, my left's gonna go in the air and pull down with my knee. Again, up, pull down, up, pull down. You're gonna do it quickly. So it's gonna be like you're moving, it's gonna be like you're kinda of running in place, but you're climbing a ladder. So we're gonna do mountain climbers and uh, we're gonna do 25. Ready, begin. Right, that's 25 mountain climbers. Now, we can do those on the ground, and I'm gonna show you real quick what I mean by that. You're gonna go in a push-up position, and your mountain climbers can come up, and you're just running in place, holding yourself on your hands, bringing your knee to your chest. That could be a mountain climber on the ground, but a standing one is what I demonstrated first. All right, guys, we've made it through our workout for today. Uh, hopefully your heart beats up, breathing a little faster, maybe even sweating. So, let's do some uh, light stretching. I'm gonna adjust my computer one more time. Do some light stretching. So, I'm gonna stand, feet shoulder width apart. I'm gonna bend down to the middle and I'm gonna try to test my toes. I'm gonna hold it for 10 seconds. All right, good. Take a deep breath in as I come up. And exhale it slowly. Now I'm going to lean to my left side, putting my one arm straight in the air, hold my ankle 10 seconds. And going to the right side. All right, 10 seconds. Good job. Now, let's, uh, let's stretch out those thigh muscles since we are doing some lunges. We're gonna pull gently up, gently up onto my toes so my heel touches my bottom, keep my back straight and my core engaged in balance. We're doing that for 10 seconds.
Good, now switch the other foot. Alright, now let's do some uh, cross by shoulder. I'm going to pull my arm across my chest, lightly pulling pressure in. Not super hard, I don't want it to hurt, I just want to feel that it's pulling in my muscles and stretching out my chest and my shoulders and my back. Let's go to the other side. Now, shake it out, take a deep breath, let it out slowly. One more deep breath, let it out slowly. And one more. We want to breathe in through our mouth. I mean, in through our mouth and and out. No, sorry. We want to breathe in through our nose or mouth, whichever it is. But you want to blow out slowly through your mouth, like you're blowing out candles. So, best rule of thumb would be if you're breathing in through your nose, like you're smelling flowers, blow out the birthday cake. Okay. Now. You can, you can change that around, you can alternate however you want to do it, but as long as you're blowing out slowly through your mouth, letting out your oxygen slowly, that's going to give you the best results to bring your heart rate down, slow everything down, and cool your body off. Now, excellent job today, guys. I will post another video uh, of some workouts, and stay tuned. Happy second day of school.